Uh, let's see what else do I got for you. Oh, I mentioned I have some goodies for you. Our cool tool for the week is something called Disruptive Designs. And this is version 2. They have some pretty interesting kind of character animations. And I've talked about this before. I'm not a big fan of whiteboard drawings because they're just old and lame and cheap and cheesy. These are animations that actually draw themselves. They come in animated GIF files and MOV files with transparency that work in Camtasia 9. Sweet! I love that. What I did was I talked to the guys and I got them to give me permission to give you guys a few samples here. So what I did was I put them into Camtasia. Let's go to my library real quick. I used the little hack here to create versions of these that are already frame extended. I made my modification like I showed you in the hack so this can last as long as I want now. I saved them to the library and then I exported them as Camtasia library zip files and put them all in a bundle with the with the GIF versions, the PNG version, and a little instruction thingy on how to import them. So let me give you the link for that. All you'll do is download this, save it to your hard drive. So when you download it, you're going to get a zip file. Just unzip it. To install these in your Camtasia library, just double click on this and it will ask you if you want to put it in your library and you say yeah. Also has the animated GIF versions and the MOV source files and the PNG static images. I like that they have the PNG because this is like the easiest way to kind of see what it is before you import it. <laughs> Just look at the picture. Otherwise you gotta, if you look at like the MOV, eh, you gotta launch the thing and all that good stuff. Yeah, I like this collection. Let me put the link for that in the chat box. I'll let you check that out for yourself. Uh, I like these kinds of animations as far as drawings go better than like I say the lame ones that you can create with whiteboard software like Explaindio and Videoscribe. Yeah they kinda have their place but a lot of people misuse them. If you don't have the proper kinds of they're called SVG images, single line SVG images, then the drawing looks really cheap and fake and stupid. Yeah, these are just better. So they draw themselves and then they have just some simple gestures. So rather than this very distracting hand with a pen that nobody believes coming up and drawing all kinds of stupid stuff and distracting people, this has the animation and the effect of the drawing, including, you know, coloring in the, the character and stuff like that. A simple gesture, and then it gets out of its own way, and it doesn't distract from the message that you're trying to deliver. I like the simplicity, and I like that all you have to do is put them into Camtasia. That being said, there's one caveat that I will give you, and that is this. These are MOV files with transparency. I mentioned before that Camtasia 9 rarely crashes on me. Here's how you get it to crash. Is you select all of these in Windows Explorer and drag them directly to the timeline. It doesn't happen all the time, but it will blow Camtasia up. So, to import MOVs in general, the way I do it is you go to the clip bin and you import media, right? Do it from here. Don't drag and drop to the timeline. It seems to work. I haven't had it crash on me using that process, but just a little heads up tip for you. Yeah, I like these. So I got you some, some nifty little speech bubbles. And again, you can check them all out on the page here. Of course, it's on a launch special. Ron and Nirajan do some really nice work. I like it. It's always innovative. You know, 17 bucks. It's a big package. It's hard to beat. 
And the other bonus here is that if you go to what license, it comes with the developer's license, the front end. Uh, yes, you, you can get the one-time offer and get like a bunch more, that kind of thing, but you don't have to purchase the one-time offer to get the developer's license. That's fresh. I like it, right? So there you have that.